హాయ్ అండి వెల్కమ్ టు కాస్ట్ ఛానల్ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ రత్న కిషోర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ది అనదర్ వీడియో ఆన్ డేటా ప్రీ ప్రాసెసింగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐఎమ్ మెయిన్లీ కవరింగ్ స్ప్లిట్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఇమేజ్ డేటా ఇన్ టు ట్రైన్ వ్యాలిడేషన్ టెస్ట్ సెట్స్ ఫర్ దిస్ ఐఎమ్ కన్సిడరింగ్ ఎ డేటా సెట్ విచ్ ఈజ్ అవైలబుల్ ఆన్ ది కాగిల్ సో దట్ ఈస్ డాగ్స్ వెర్సెస్ క్యాట్స్ ఇన్ విచ్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఆర్ క్యాట్ ఇమేజెస్ and the remaining 12500 images are dog images now i will show how we can split this entire image data set into training data set validation data set test data set by using the python language let's start the topic as i mentioned the original data set that i have collected from the dogs versus cats data set contains 12500 cat images 12500 dog images so these images are jpg files each cat image is having the file name as cat dot file number dot extension jpg in the same way dog images are having the file names as dog dot file number dot jpg now i am splitting this original image data set into training set which contains 1000 cat images 1000 dog images that means I am going to extract only 2000 images from the original set as training set. And then I am considering the validation set which contains 500 cat images, 500 dog images. In the same way, test set is also having 500 cat images, 500 dog images. Cat images will have the file names as cat.0.jpg up to cat.12499.jpg. jpg total 12500 cat images in the same way dog image files will have the file names as dog.0.jpg up to dog.12499.jpg like the total 25000 images will be there in the original data set now if i consider the training data set i am going to consider only 1000 images of each class into it then i am taking cat.0.jpg to cat.999.jpg that means first 1000 images i am considering in the train set for the cat as well as dog as well in the same way validation set in the validation set i am considering 500 cat images 500 dog images that's where the image serial number begins from 1000 and moves up to 1499 Similarly, in the test set, I am considering 500 cat images, 500 dog images. Now, I am going to give four steps to perform this splitting by using the Python. The first step is to import the modules. Here, we are going to use two modules. One is OS module, another one is shuttle module. After importing the modules, we need to create the destination folders. Total three folders we need to create. One for training data set. Second one is for validation data set. Third one is for test data set. After creating the destination folders, we need to create a list of file names. After creating the list of file names, we need to copy the image files from the original data set to the destination folders. So these are the four steps we need to perform. Then let's start coding by using the Python. I have a data folder in which my original data set is present. Let me check what we have in that original data set. From cat.0.jpg to cat.12499.jpg Total 12500 cat images and dog.0.jpg to dog.12499.jpg Remaining 12500 dog images Total we have 25000 images here Now in the same data folder I am going to create three more folders one for training set another one for validation set and the third one for testing set let's start the coding by using the python in the jupyter notebook the first thing is we need to import the required modules as i mentioned earlier we need two modules here os module as well as shuttle module here we need os module to create the folders and we need the shuttle module to copy the files from source folder to destination folder next we need to create the destination folders for that first i am creating various variables for the paths 
See, I am considering original folder as a variable to hold the path of original data file, which is available in the data folder. Because this path is having the backslash, that may work as escape character. To suppress that special function of the backslash, I am using this string as a raw string by using R here. And then I am using another variable train underscore folder to hold the path of the train folder, which is also present in the data folder. And the third variable I am using is validation underscore folder, which holds the path for the validation folder. And finally, we have test underscore folder to hold the path for the test folder. Now I am creating all the three folders required by using mkdir function available in OS module. See, I am running this. Then automatically we got here the required three folders, test, train, as well as validation in the data folder. So we have successfully created the required folders. Then we need to copy the files from this original set into these three sets based on our requirement. So I am considering third and fourth steps combinedly here. I am generating the list of file names and then I am copying the files from the original folder to the destination folders. First I am showing how to prepare the training set with 1000 images. For that I am considering the cat images first. See I am preparing the list of file names. For that I am using the list comprehension. As expression here I am using formatted string. That formatted string is using the variable i. Then for this list comprehension I am using the variable i in a range 0 to 1000. Then you will get the values of the range function as 0 to 999. Then this list will have the strings from cat.0.jpg up to cat.999.jpg. Then you will get the file names for all the thousand cat images. Then here I am using a for loop to access every file name from the file names list. And then I am preparing the source path as well as destination path. To prepare these paths I am using join function available in os.path. By using the join function, I am combining the original folder path as well as file name that we got in this iteration. Here I am getting the destination path by joining the train folder path as well as the file name. Then I am using this copy function available with the shuttle module to copy the file from the source path to destination path. If I run this, automatically the train folder will get a total 1000 cat images. Still it is running, then I am opening the train folder. See, now we can observe the total 1000 cat images in this train folder. See, the last one is cat.999.jpg. Total 1000 cat images I got. That means here the first 1000 cat images I got into the train folder. In the same way, I have to get first 1000 dog images into this train folder. To get the 1000 dog images, I am using the same mechanism here. Instead of using cat in the formatted string, I am using dog to get the dog image file names. Except that everything is same. Then I am running this. Then I will get first 1000 dog images into this train folder. See, I am getting the first 1000 images. See, the last image file name is dog.999.jpg. So if you observe here total 2000 items I got into the train folder. Now in the same way I have to get the required files into the validation folder. See to get the cat images into the validation folder I am using the same type of code. But here the range function is using the values from 1000 to 1500. Then I will get the values in the place of i from 1000 to 1499. Then next 500 cat images I will get into the validation folder because of this code. See here, in the destination path I have used validation folder path. Then I am running it. Now I am going to check the validation folder. See validation folder. Now this folder is having cat images from cat.1000.jpg to cat. dot 1499.jpg total 500 cat images in the same way we need to get 500 dog images from serial number 1000 to 1499 into this folder for that i am using the same type of code but in the file names i am using dog instead of cat 
then I am running it I am checking the validation folder again see I am getting the dog images whose serial number is starting from 1000 and then I am getting the last serial number as 1499 in the same way we need to get the next 500 cat images and 500 dog images into this test folder I am writing the same type of code for the test folder now see here first cat images I am considering with a range function of values 1500 to 2000 then this range function will generate the integers from 1500 to 1999 then these serial numbers will present in the place of i then this file names list will have cat.1500.jpg to cat.1999.jpg as strings so in this for loop my destination folder is having join function with test folder path then we can get 500 cat images because of this code into this test folder in the same way I am preparing a list of dog file names with serial numbers 1500 to 1999 then I will get the next 500 dog images into the test folder now I am running these two cells then I am checking test folder see total 500 cat images and 500 dog images I am getting here see the last dog image is having the file name as dog.1999.jpg so that's all guys in this way we can use the OS module to create the required destination folders and the shuttle module to copy the files from original folder to the required destination folders bye guys